Yo, what's up guys, it's Aptrex here. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a brand new Windows emulator for Android, which I covered previously. It is known as MySwine Windows emulator for Android devices. It is similar to Horizon emulator and in today's video, we'll be setting it up. Now it is officially available on its open source GitHub page where this project is updated on a regular basis. MySwine consists of the main application itself and also a root FS file. Now both of them have separate GitHub pages from the official developer of my spine nonetheless let's start setting up this emulator right away so when you open it for the first time it will ask you to select the rootfs file of my spine emulator you guys will need to use the arc64 rootfs file as you will be able to see i have already added it on my android device just go ahead and select it and wait until it has been processed it is similar to using winlater emulator where before we start using the emulator it automatically pre-processes everything and it is also just like horizon emulator where we need to add some assets nonetheless as you guys will be able to see the process has been completed and the reason why my spine is a good windows emulator for android is because it uses all the latest technologies such as newest box 64 version newest turnip drivers and also good compatibility along with on-screen touch controls pre-built into this emulator previously we tested out the beta build of this emulator so it was not that stable but now as you guys will be able to see here is the final version of my spine windows emulator for android so we'll just go ahead and go to settings after was box 64 settings where safe flex level will set it to zero once that has been done we'll go back let's go to wine settings and here enable uh, wine easing to get better fps once that has been done in terms of display settings we get uh, custom resolutions just like win later for today's video we'll go with the default 1280 by 720p resolution ram counter has been enabled we can also enable cpu usage counter to see how well is our windows emulator performing afterwards we'll go to driver settings here in terms of drivers you get wine d3d as well as dxvk nonetheless here in terms of dxvk drivers just take a look at this my spine emulator even has the latest dxvk 2.0 that we'll be using for today's video. It also has VKD3D support which is pretty amazing. Mango HUD is also present so we won't be using the DXVK HUD. Other than that Wine D3D version you can choose from here. Let's just go ahead and go back afterwards go back once again and here in terms of controller mapping you can also map your controller uh, if you are using a PlayStation 5 or any other controller of your choice. You also get virtual on-screen mapping where here you'll be able to create your own on-screen touch controls but unfortunately as you will be able to see it still uses a white screen which is not that great but let's just go ahead and modify the button and you can set it up just like input bridge by adding up down left right controls etc so as you guys can see i have added the up control Tap on driver manager and here you will be able to see the latest Mesa turnip driver has been selected which means that virtual drivers are not present. Uh, it also means that Mali GPU Android devices may not be able to use this emulator. Well, now that we have set up everything, let's just go ahead and tap on the desktop and see how well will this emulator work. Immediately right off the bat, it started very quickly which is pretty impressive. Our MySwine emulator has successfully started. But before we start using it, you need to go to its app info and make sure to turn on this option. Once that has been done, let's just go ahead and restart the emulator. So it will be able to detect uh, the D directory on my Android device. Now my Swine's technology is a bit different to other emulators that we use. Now you will be able to see that file manager has started but nothing has been detected here. But you don't even need to open your Wine because you can directly start your games from your Android device itself. I'll show that to you guys later on in this video but as you guys can see, some applications have been provided. Let's go to Wine configuration. Windows version is set to Windows 10. That's pretty cool cool in terms of other settings we can even change gpu names like we do with win later android and also vram settings along with graphics settings but we'll keep everything as default for today's video if you swipe back you'll also be able to see some additional options such as stretch display open keyboard etc i'll just go ahead and exit because you can directly access all the directory from this option right here you don't even need to open the wine uh, file manager to go to the games directory and then boot it up you can do that directly from here itself let's start off by testing out our first game and the only game that i have is gta 5 so i have just got and launched the gta 5 launcher on my android tablet okay it's saying the wine process is closed it means that grand theft auto 5 is not launching in this emulator let me just go and try once again if it will work or not because okay it says wine process is closed once again so i think there is some incompatibility with the game that i am trying 
So what we'll do is we'll try with a different driver. Currently it is using the Mesa Turnip driver. So we'll switch to Mesa Android wrapper and see if GTA 5 works that way or not. So I'll just go ahead and launch GTA 5 once again. It is the only game that I have on my tablet for now. But once again, as you guys can see, it says wine process is closed. So once I add more games, I'll be able to test it out properly. So yeah, guys, that was the entire setup and best settings of my swine emulator. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like to see a proper gameplay test of this emulator as well, where I'll test out 5 to 10 games on my Android device to see how well do they actually work. I'll see you guys next time though. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.